Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Bianca here, and this is uh, a tutorial on Xbox 360. Now, I have not touched my Xbox 360 since sometime last year just to play Modern Warfare 2, which is actually still in from whenever I did that. But what we're going to be doing today is game sharing slash license transferring, because I know there's still a lot of people that play 360, and I'm probably going to start playing again, because sometimes I forget to have this still, because Xbox One, I just play PUBG or Minecraft or, you know, whatever, but... Anyways, getting right into the video. So what you want to do first is you want to have one of your friends give them your their um, email and password to their account. And you have to download their email and password to your Xbox. So what you do to do that is you go here and you want to sign out uh, once you get their stuff. Make sure they are not signed in. So I'm just going to sign out real quick. And then what you do is you hit, well, you hit download profile and then download profile again. Now, I'm not actually going to download a profile. I'm just going to go back into my account. So you type in their email and password, which would come up after that. And then you sign in. So let me go back to my account. Okay, so once you're back on your account, uh, it will bring you to the home dashboard. And what you want to do is you want to hit the right bumper, which is the top button above Y. And you want to click it until you get to settings. Go to account. Wait for everything to load. Go down here to license transfer. And then it's going to say this will transfer the console license for previous purchases content to this console. You can transfer license licenses between consoles a limited time number of times per year. So blah, blah, blah. Get more information if you really want to read all this crap, uh, blah, blah, blah. Um, so basically what it does is it makes it so you can play your friends games on your Xbox and you can do it up to three times. Uh, and the person who bought the games can still play their games, but if they are... Uh, on a different account on their xbox it won't let them play the games but who would usually use a different account i'm always on my own account so it doesn't really matter no matter what but you would just hit continue and continue again and then boom you'd have all their games so you'd go to the uh games and apps and um you would just pick whatever you want and yeah that's pretty much it if you have any questions or anything uh this does work for dlc by the way but if you have any questions or anything please feel free to leave a like come subscribe have a great day and peace out everybody